Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to sew the bottom to the sides and then how to go and uh, tack the overlap together. So the first thing that you're going to do is you need to use a thicker thread than normal. I am using Aurifil's 12 weight cotton. You can use a 12 weight pearl cotton and if you'll notice, I'm using two strands and I've tied a knot at the end. I'm also using a longer milliner's needle. I use a milliner's size 7 uh, and it's just easier to sew with a needle that's slightly longer. The first thing that you're going to do, and also you'll notice I have two threads here. This second thread we'll be using to tack the overlaps together. So the first uh, thing that you're going to do is you want to bury your knot in between the two layers of the bottom. Then you'll sew down through to the binding, the very edge of the binding on the side. Then you will take your needle and you'll put it in horizontally across the first layer of the bottom and then down into the very edge of the binding on the side. Now I'm going to push this through and then I'm going to lift it up so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's your thread and then if I lift it up here's the first layer of the bottom and I've uh, sewn across about a quarter of an inch and then I've gone down to the binding, the center of the binding on the side. Pull that nice and tight. Now this is white thread and you can hardly see that white thread. So I'm going to do another one. So across about a quarter of an inch down into the edge of the side binding pull it through and pull it tight. Again, one more time, right across the put your needle in horizontally into the bottom edge of the bottom, then down into the side binding. Pull it tight. straight across to the bottom, over about a quarter of an inch, down into the edge of the side binding and pull it tight. So as you go all the way around, you're going to see these stitches but they're going to be very small. So use a colored thread that matches your fabric. Go all the way around and once you've uh, gotten back to where you begin and you want to begin right at the edge of the inside overlap so the other side of the overlap is about here. Once you get here you're going to use a little bit different stitch and we'll call this the auntie's two ladder stitch where you're going in I'm going to move this pin just so that you're, you can see this you're going in, we try to keep this in the ditch, I'm not quite in the ditch right there. You're going in close to where you came out and you're going in at an angle. So these stitches are going to be quite big. So you'll go straight in, pull it through on the inside, pull it tight, and then on the inside, you're going to go in, let's see, you're not going to be able to see this very well, at an angle, come out as close to the ditch on the outside as you can, pull it tight, go back in very close to where you came out, at an angle, so this is at an angle, so these are big stitches that we're taking. Right through, back and forth, all the way across this bottom, 
up this edge and across just to the edge of the overlap. And that's it.